exhibition starts with a green glazed porcelain bottle with a lion on it. The bottle was made between 600 and 900 AD during the Tang Dynasty. The style was once popular in Southeast Asia and in the Arab world, and the piece is believed to have been made for export. In 1988, several pieces of porcelain, including this bottle, were unexpectedly unearthed during a waterway dredging project in Qingpu District. The discovery provided clues about the possible site of ancient Qinglong Town, which was built about 1,300 years ago. There were records of a Qinglong Town in historical documents, but there was no archaeology evidence to confirm its existence before these porcelain pieces were discovered. This one is from a famous kiln in Changsha. The discovery provided clues that the ancient Qinglong Town might be buried under the water. And the farmland there. This eventually led to its excavation. More than 100 relics provide researchers with information on daily life at the time, including Buddhism worship and traces of trading in the ancient town. Last year, archaeologists uncovered an underground chamber at the site of Longping Temple, which was built during the Song Dynasty but no longer exists. Many artifacts were found in the chamber, providing a breakthrough in what ancient Qinglong Town looked like. The gold religious instruments discovered in the chamber reveal Buddhism was followed at the time, and that the town was likely prosperous. Other relics on display include dozens of porcelain made from various famous kilns, such as Yue Changsha Ware from the Tang Dynasty and Jian Ware from the Song Dynasty. Archaeologists say the variety of porcelain proves Qinglong Town was an important port along the ancient maritime trading route. The history of ancient Qinglong Town is incredibly important. It not only shows the prosperity of the region in the Tang and the Song dynasties, but also proves Shanghai was an important port along the ancient maritime Silk Road. We hope more people will learn about Shanghai's history through the exhibition. The exhibition runs until May the 30th at Shanghai Museum. Admission is free. Huang Yue, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.